So guys, just um, we're we're live now for other students. So you know, if you want to sit down and talk. I have somewhere. I love the segregation. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to connect to the display, uh, but I can send you uh, a copy of all the slides later on. You can send it through to you. Uh, often this happens, especially if I'm not on like a school network. Do you want to be on the network? Yeah. If, if yeah. I'll just grab the code in a minute. Are we back in two seconds? So my computer is not like a school computer, it's another computer. I don't think that should matter though. My computer seems to connect. I don't know what it is. I always have it, like every school I've been to, I've never been active. It's like, maybe they just did the projector system, maybe. Maybe. Um, that's why I like uh, Ashton. Like Could Bethany Ashton come to the office, wrong. please? Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. well, before, while we're waiting, uh, what year are we in? Four year fittings. Fantastic. And you already know about a program that other that you're interested in? Yeah, or are you just trying to find out some general information? Hey, can I go to see? General information? Yeah, Anyone have a specific program in mind that they really want some information about a specific thing? Tell me what it is, because I, I know a little bit about everything, and it'll just help me kind of focus what you want me to talk about. What I might have to, I can just do it off my computer and then I can send you the slides later. I'll just like, if you want to, otherwise I don't get my phone username. Do you want to Yeah, sure. Okay, so it's on the GC. Oh, that was pay. It's GC. I've already got you flight and I don't want to go to the actually. And I can't go to the open one because I'm going to say anything. So the mum's like, you just have to wait. So when they release next Monday, I'm in double study. Yeah, I'm in double study. I am not. Action center. Connecting your device. If it doesn't work, then I have any other options. All right. Sarah, we'll just run it off my computer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's quite a small group. Why do you need to do this? We've already got the school. Probably as an owner. Any insight, Luke? Yeah, look. Okay, if you like the tech guy. I'm not the. Oh, no, that's the tech guy. I'm, I'm just. I'm not the tech guy. <laughs> Kia ora all. There is a Pacifica meeting on now in R6. Thank I'll roll you. off my laptop. So if you can kind of sit in a place where you can see the screen, that will make it a little bit easier for you to kind of understand what I'm talking about. Um, just make sure the volume's up because I've got a few new videos. Great. So uh, my name is Blair. Uh, I'm the youth rep for Ana Institute of Canterbury. What that means, basically I travel to schools all over New Zealand and talk to students just like yourselves about what you're doing here at school, what subjects you're taking, uh, what you want to do after school. I know a lot about the tertiary options at Ana. I can tell you things inside out and back to front. I know a little bit about some other tertiary providers and I can point you in the right direction if there's something that you want to study that we don't have, but I'm not an expert uh, compared with the programs at Ada. Uh, another big part of my job is inviting everyone to Ada to come and see it for yourself, check it out with your own eyes, 
that's one thing listening to people like me talk about tertiary options it's a whole other game you going and seeing it for yourself with your own eyes anyone here been to any mit for like an open day or a taster or had a quick look around highly recommend going and checking it out because it's your local option it's relatively cheap and easy for you to go and see it and once you've seen a tertiary provider you can start comparing things like what's the difference between school and tertiary what's the same and if even if nmit is not your first choice if you've gone and seen it when you do go to your first choice provider you can compare things and what you like better about that and what you like better about this because you've got experience of a few different things if you only go to one place how do you know if that's any good compared to somewhere else? So check out NMIT, go to an open day. It's easy and, and relatively cheap for you to go there and check it out. Great, that's all I wanted to say. I've got a quick video coming up. It shows off ADA. Um, strictly speaking, ADA is a polytech, exactly the same as NMIT. We just on a different scale. We cover the whole Canterbury region. Uh, we actually have three campuses just in Christchurch. And some of the offerings that we have, it's the only place in New Zealand you can study that thing. Um, so this video here just shows off a little bit about Ada and a little bit about what makes studying at Ada unique. Welcome to Ada. Ada has been at the heart of tertiary education in Canterbury for over 120 years. It's like the thousands of people who graduated from Ada in that time, you too can benefit from our laser focus on real world skills, the kind that put you ahead of the game and give you an edge. So. How does it work? Well, when you study with us, you won't just learn the theory. You'll actually experience what it's like to do the job. You'll be taught by inspirational mentors who've had years of industry experience and knowledge to share. You'll learn in well-equipped learning environments that replicate real workplaces, like this simulation suite in our new health campus, or these workshops at our modern trades campus. Our classes are small, so you'll get to know your tutors and they'll get to know you. You'll contribute to class discussions and work on projects with other students. You might also get to do an internship, an industry project, work-based training, or practice your skills with real clients. By the time you graduate, you'll have the skills employers are looking for, and you'll be confident, prepared, and work-ready. So give yourself an advantage. Come and study at Ada. Right, so I'm just going to cover a few things I talked about in the video in a little bit more detail. First off, something that makes Ada quite special is the ability to learn through practice. Uh, yes, studying at tertiary level in a diploma or a degree, you're going to have to do quite a bit of theory, essays, presentations. At Ada, you get to bring the theory to life. You get to learn by doing, by practicing, by tinkering, by figuring things out. Uh, there's a highly practical component all of our qualifications. Uh, for me personally, um, the practical in my degree really helped to break up some of the theory and it helped me to make sense of some of that theory. Uh, when you're just reading or writing or listening, it's not the same as experiencing it and that really helped me to get some of the information into my brain. Next up is small class sizes. So uh, our, small, our classes are relatively small sort of averaging between 15 and 35. Uh, what I found is that my tutors got to know my name. They got to know what I was really good at, the classes where they could leave me to work independently, and I'd be capable of achieving in that class. They also got to know my weaknesses, the areas where I wasn't so strong and needed a, a bit of extra help or another explanation, or they needed to show me something again. They could help me out right there and then on the spot. What's up next? I can't see my screen, sorry. Workplace learning. So a lot of our programs have like an internship or work placement built into the study. I had to do a 200 hour work experience paper uh, and they let it, it was in the second half of the year and they let us run into the summer if we needed to, to get all those hours. Where this was really, really useful is not so much within the degree, but at the end of it. I finished three years of study, I needed to find a job that was you know, in the field I just spent all this time and money training on. Uh, I went into a lot of different interviews. I probably did 10 plus interviews. Some of them were really intense. You have a panel of four. Uh, four was the most in my interviews, but four people asking you questions, four sets of eyes looking at you while you say the answer. 
Uh, and they often want to know not just about your qualifications, but what experience you've had as well. I had experience in my degree. I could talk about, you know, the problems I faced in that work experience, how I worked with the manager or the other senior staff to figure those problems out and get a really good result for the clients. Um, and when you can talk confidently about your experience in an interview, it really helps you stand out and, and get some of those jobs that I got. Next up is support throughout your journey. So we have a lot of different support teams. Personally, I found my tutors were really supportive of me. Uh, something that's really important to you coming down from Nelson to study, uh, we have our own student accommodation and a really awesome student support team within that accommodation. Uh, within the accommodation complex, there's an office, a support team are on into the evening. There's actually a live-in manager within the complex as well. And they're all there to help you in your first years out of home. Uh, here in Nelson, you have probably a GP and a dentist and all of those support things you need for life. Uh, our student care team connects you with all of those services in Christchurch. They kind of look after you along the way. We also have academic support, you know, the people that are there to, to help you with the, the study side of things as well. Are we looking at qualifications now? Yes. Perfect. So we have a diff over 150 different qualifications. And something that's quite unique to the Polytechs is uh, we have a lot of options below the degree level. Here at school, you do NCA level 1, level 2, and level 3. At Ardo, we have qualifications from level 2 through to level 9. Uh, what that means is that if you don't quite choose the right subjects at school, or maybe things don't quite go well in your end of year exams and you don't quite get UE, We've got an option for you below degree level. Often the entry requirements are NCA level two, so you probably already have that entry criteria. You can come into a certificate or a diploma and use that to then get into the degree you wanna get into. And a lot of our study areas, a diploma is a lot of the same content as the first year of the degree. So you can come into the diploma and that actually takes time off your degree level study. A really good example is quantity surveying. They have a two-year level six diploma. If you complete the diploma, you can go straight into the third year of the degree. Three years, you get the diploma and the degree. It doesn't cost you any extra time, no extra money, and you get both qualifications. To do the diploma, you only need NCA level two. So um, it's a really good option, regardless of what you get from school. All right, help me out, team. What are we looking at? Subject areas, all the different types of courses you can do. Great. So we have over 150 different qualifications, and some of the subject areas we offer, we're the only place in New Zealand you can study that thing. Some of the options, we're the only place in the South Island. We have people coming from all over New Zealand to study in those specialist subject areas. A couple of ones that stand out, and it's not just at degree level. In the trades, we have a plumbing pre-trade. I don't believe that's offered in Nelson. No. Uh, and here in Beauty, we have a barbering program. Again, barbering, I believe, is not, not offered in Nelson. Uh, in our cookery school, we do a bakery specialisation, which I'm not sure is that offered in Nelson. There's something to patisserie baking. Ah, uh, yeah, cool. Yeah. I know it it's not offered in South of trades. Canterbury. Yeah, yeah it, it's definitely more of a trade qualification. Mm. Um, and our degree subjects, are some things that are unique. The broadcasting school, there's no... Uh, communications or media degree in New Zealand that's taught quite the way the broadcasting school is. Uh, we have our own TV studio. It's actually the second biggest studio in the South Island. Uh, so all of the, the toys and tools associated with that, with that studio create really awesome practical learning experiences for our students. Uh, we have we run our own radio station. It's broadcast from Kaipoda all the way into the McKenzie country. What better way to prepare for a career in radio than by running your own station as a student? Uh, some of the other kind of specialist programs, sustainability out the red, only place you can study at degree level in that field in New Zealand is with us in Christchurch. Uh, osteopathy, again, the only place in New Zealand you can study to be an osteopath. Um, osteopath. <laughs> Sorry, I've done about five presentations today. My <laughs> words are getting hard now. Um, so, yeah. When I said before we're on a different scale to MIT, um, we have some of you know the only places in New Zealand, one of the only places in New Zealand you can study 
a lot of things and it draws people from all over the country to come and study with us. What are we up to now? Uh, funding and fees free. So uh, StudyLink is the main mechanism. They kind of administer all student loans for students in New Zealand if you need to go down the student loan route. Uh, in 2024, tertiary students are still entitled to the first year fees free. And everyone who came to study with us in February has been given the first year fees free. Uh, the new government who came into power in October, November last year, they have signaled some changes to that program. We're not certain what that will look like. Uh, keep in touch with your careers team here at school. They'll probably find out about the same time as us what the changes are and how that might affect your entitlements for 2025. Uh, the change that was campaigned on was that instead of getting first year free, you're going to get your last year free. Uh, wait and see what comes out in the details and uh, come see Miss Halliwell. She'll have the information for you once it's available. Okay. Uh, aside from that, we also offer scholarships. The scholarships we offer are around $4,000. You can choose whether you put that towards your course fees or you receive uh, money into your bank account fortnightly spread across the year that adds up to $4,000, which you can use for anything you want uh, to contribute towards your study. Uh, $4,000 for context is about half of your yearly tertiary fees. They range from about $7,000 up to about $9,000, depending on which course you're doing. The more practical things are generally a little bit more expensive because there's a lot of equipment that we purchase to help give you that practical experience. Uh, we also have partnership scholarships. They are subject specific. So, uh, you know, scholarships for health, scholarships for engineering, scholarships for uh, women studying STEM subjects. Uh, look into what subject area you're interested in and if there's any specific scholarship for that subject area. What are we up to now, folks? Help me out. Ah, student accommodation. So this is a quick video which shows our accommodation um, and explains how it works. Can I come into Christchurch? Yeah. One question first. Sure. Something that has caught a few of our students out is that you cannot stay in the accommodation if you're under the age of 18. Yes. So is there anyone here that's turning 18 next year? When and when? Uh, 2nd of January. 2nd of January. So you'll be, you'll be fine, fine for yeah, February be, start. Yeah. yeah, but there was a couple that... Had, we're thinking about doing nursing, but then they, they decided to do it here because their birthday was in March and April. Yes. So they couldn't yeah. stay at the accommodation. Then that was a bone. That was what they were wanting to do. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, Just as a heads up, but you guys are fine. Yeah. If you are January, February, early March, we mm. do. We have made some exceptions. Okay. Um, but yeah, if you're more kind of later mm. in the year, we can't help you. Out no. Much. Student accommodation. Yeah. If you're coming to Christchurch to study at Aratikukenga, why not live where the action is? Right on campus. Located in the heart of the city, Otatahi House offers safe, convenient student accommodation directly opposite the city campus. The kitchen, bathroom, and living area in your apartment are shared spaces for you and your flatmates. Your bedroom is your own space. It's fully furnished and you can arrange it however you like. Each home house apartment comes with electricity and cleaning support included in the rent, plus there's secure swipe card access and free Wi-Fi. Two ground floor apartments are purpose designed for students with disabilities. There's a communal courtyard available to all residents and regular O house events so you can get to know other students. When you live at O House, your classrooms and other campus facilities like the gym, health centre, library and bike storage are just a short walk away. You're also really close to public transport, supermarkets, cafes and all the cool new places emerging in the central city. Be where the action is. Secure your place in Ototaki House by applying when you're enrolled to study with us. So some of the things that make our accommodation a little bit different from places like uni halls is our blocks are set up in individual apartments. Each apartment has five to six bedrooms, uh, your own kitchen, your own bathroom areas. Um, so it's set up a lot more like a flat. 
Um, we encourage the students in each flat to kind of live together like you're flatting anywhere else. Um, unlike flatting independently, there's a lot of support from that student care team. The cleaners come Monday to Friday, they take all your rubbish out and keep the hygiene standards high in some of those communal areas. Um, but it's a really good introduction to flatting with that extra support. We find a lot of students will come into Ōtutahi House for their first year, they'll meet a group of students that they can live with really well. Uh, there's a difference between being able to live with people and like living with your mates. Some of your best friends might not be a good fit to live with. Um, you might find out what I mean in a few years' time. Um, but you find a group you can live with really well, and you'll go out and get a flat in your second or third year. And it's a really good transition, a realistic transition from living completely at home, being looked after really nicely by your parents, moving into all house, having that kind of support of the team and, and the cleaning support, not having to organise like your power, your internet, none of that stuff, and then moving out and, and becoming fully independent, organising your own bills, splitting up the housework between your flatmates. It's, it's a really good transition to living independently. What have we got now? What's next? Brilliant. So I am the Ara Rep that looks after Nelson, Tasman and Marlborough. Uh, so you'll see me again this year. I'm coming back up for the Nelson Careers Roadshow. I believe you, do you go, and, go to Nayland or to one Yeah, year? we usually take year 12s, but if there's any interest from year 13s, I put it out. And if they want to jump in and come along, then definitely. Perfect. So I'll be at the Roadshow. Uh, also in the Roadshow, there's usually an evening session. Mm -hmm. I think we worked out this year it's going to be at Nelson College for Girls. Okay. Yeah, so um, you can come along with your So family. you can bring your parents yeah. along as well. Yeah. Um, parents are often good advisors, mm -hmm. but also they have really good questions. The reason they have good questions is they've been to tertiary before in a lot of cases, and they know the things that didn't work for them. So they often ask us the questions that will really help you. Um, and in your case, you've been to tertiary before. You don't know the right questions to ask. So highly recommend exploring the options with your folks. Um, I have a form here as well. So on my tablet here, fill in your details. Anyone that does it, I'm going to send you a quick email when I get back to my office down in Christchurch. Uh, the beauty of getting an email from me is that you can then reply to that email and connect directly with me. If you're coming down to Christchurch to visit Auntie Janet or you're coming down for sports or a sport tournament, Get in touch with me, let me know you're coming, and I can organise a tour for you directly. Uh, we can show you the campus, we can show you the learning areas, I can introduce you to teaching staff, and I can show you the student accommodation so you can see what it looks like. Also, more than happy to bring your whānau along for that journey as well. As I mentioned, they ask really good questions, so bring them along too. Um, you can book a tour through our website. Uh, it will bounce through a few people before it gets to the person that will actually take you on the tour. Uh, I'm more than happy to just connect directly, say, hey, I'm coming down next holidays, and I'll be like, cool, when you want to come in, Tuesday, Wednesday, what works for you? And we can book that time in directly, cuts out all the middle people, and we can make it happen for you that way. Um, beyond that, we have our open day in June. Uh, if you're looking to come to an event where everything's on show, I can recommend June. It is in the middle of the term. For a lot of people coming from out of town, it's actually easier to come in the holidays, and that's where booking a tour, we can make it happen when it, when it works for you. Is it still a weekend in June? Or is it a uh, weekday? It's usually a Thursday afternoon. Yeah, usually Thursday from 2 to 6. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, which might not be convenient to come down from mm -hmm. Nelson, but uh, good opportunity to, to private tour out. with Blair would be best. Yeah. Because yep. then you can target it to what you want to look at and what you want to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, happy to take any questions. I have some uh, brochures here as well. Supplies are a little bit limited, but um, there's a bit of a range of things. And yeah, happy to answer any questions you might have as well. Um, for the like, like the flat stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, there was like saying, um, it was like, like, um. In the video, it said it was like rent. Like, um, how much did like how much does that like cost? Yep. So for 2025, the fee will be 240 per week. Okay. Uh, that includes all of your utilities. Mm -hmm. It doesn't include your food because mm -hmm. you have your own kitchen. You yeah. cook for yourselves. Mm -hmm. okay. um, we don't have a, 
a commercial kitchen that provides meals for our students mm. and that makes our fees a little bit lower because we don't we don't have a catered option okay uh, the things that it doesn't include if you would like to bring a car our car parking is very limited okay. and the only fair way to issue car parks is you put your name in a hat mm. shake it up and draw out the winners of the car parks okay if you secure a car park it adds on 25 dollars per week which is quite a lot cheaper than using our car parks which you have to pay per day mm. um, there are some places you can park that isn't time metered on streets around the campus mm. um, but we are in the central city we just recommend you don't leave any valuables in your vehicle and have full insurance including glass cover okay. just in case any incidents happen we we can't guarantee safety okay the public transport's roads. pretty okay down the other way what's that public transport's pretty good down the other way yep yep um we're about a four minute walk from the central bus exchange oh, yeah. uh, you can get anywhere from there mm -hmm. um, to the airport uh, the intercity leaves from the central bus exchange too so you can bus back up home okay. if you want to um uh, we have a lot of bike lanes which are separate like you have a curb separating you from the traffic mm. and on all our traffic lights you have separate lights for the bikes uh keeps you really separate from the vehicles and it's really safe uh, i find Christchurch it's just flat too mm. it's uh it's about the same amount of time for me to ride to work as it is to drive by the time you go to all the traffic lights and get stopped mm. and stuff so yeah uh, super easy to get around yeah okay. right thank you <laughs> Uh, the other thing that's not included in your rent is the washing machines with a big commercial operated washing machines and it's two dollars per load okay. to do a wash and two dollars i think two dollars for 20 minutes in the dryer a lot of students just have drying racks and they just dry their clothes because yeah. it's yeah. cheaper and solar powered drying you know yeah I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> cool. great question yeah. any other questions about auto or tertiary in general with like the um like this student life sort of stuff is there like are there like uh clubs in the campus that you can join and we do have like some clubs and groups they're quite small uh, we have like a small tramping club there's a sustainability group we have groups for maori and pacific students uh there is also an international student group um if there's like a specific club you're really interested in joining uh, we do link in with the uc groups as well uh, in specific areas, things like the UCCC, which is the kayaking club, uh, the CUTC, which is Canberra University Trending Club, and Cuba, which is the Board Riders Association, uh, surf, snow sport, uh, that sort of thing. So, uh, like when I was a student at Ara, I jumped into some of the UC groups, uh, mainly to organise trips, um, carpooling up to the mountain, or you know, carpooling to go out tramping and stuff as well. Um, so there is that ability um, to join some of the other groups across town if there's something you're really interested in okay yeah they're super friendly and, and happy to have other students join join the crew for trips as well good question yeah any other questions or queries uh what's the tourism um down there? Um, so our tourism programs yeah. or just tourism in general yes, around the 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 yeah uh so we have a number of different levels of tourism program and you know how i kind of mentioned you can turn your diploma into yeah. a degree we have those options within our program uh, the big program is the bachelor of international tourism and hospitality management yeah. uh, our program with our staffing expertise really focuses on hotel motel management and all of the options that fit around that so in a hotel you often have uh, events conferences conference center stuff uh, food and beverage, big part of hotel and motel management, hospitality, uh, and then obviously the accommodation side of things as well. We do a little bit of stuff in adventure tourism, um, and we have had students go on to work in like, all areas of tourism. A lot of people going and working at Air New Zealand in uh, Canterbury, um, and some of the other kind of tourism providers around Canterbury too. Yeah. Um, if you can start off in the diploma in hospitality management and go from there straight into the second year of the degree and so that kind of gives you the option of doing a year of study uh, if you think a year is enough and then you want to go out and get some um, work and in, in some industry experience you can always come and jump back a few years later and continue with your studies if you find that you need it cool. 
Is there any other area of tourism that you're interested in? Oh, I was going to do a picture. I was also looking at that, yeah. Yeah, cool. Uh, another option for you would be to look at the Bachelor of Sustainability and Outdoor Education. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's the program I personally studied myself. I've done a lot of work in adventure tourism, uh, snowboard instruction, hike guiding, uh, a little bit of kayaking and canoe instruction and guiding as well. Uh, and people that I've studied with have gone out and worked in adventure tourism in a lot of different areas as well. Um, Sustainability and outdoor education. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there are also the level four and level five, so the CERT diploma. Those ones are more specifically focused on the adventure tourism and particularly guiding. Yeah. Um, and they look at uh, mountain bike, sea kayak, and tramping are kind of the main areas they look at guiding. So it's a little bit kind of a shorter pathway and kind of direct entry to work. Uh, I always pick up the degree because in the degree you also get sustainability, you get environmental science, and you get teaching and learning, which as a guide, I found all of those things were really, really useful. Um, as a guide, you are you are teaching people about the environment you're immersed in, and having some of those education papers helped me with just like speaking in front of a group, presenting information, saying instructions in a lot of different ways so that people understand what you're saying, um, especially when you're working with you know, people from different cultures, different languages, that was all really useful. Uh, the environmental sciences stuff was all, was so invaluable. When you're guiding and you can tell people so much information about the area, the geology, the geography, all of that stuff really helped me as a guide. Thank you. Great. In the interest of time, Lee, we finish at um, half past. Cool. Do you want to, does anybody want to add their email address to the tablet for Blair to be able to have a conversation with you. Uh, I can bring it up on my computer so as I can Zara, are you considering nursing there? So do you know they do two intakes there and Nelson only does one in February? They do four. They do four intakes there, not two. It's new oh, for this um, year. Okay, it's new Wages, for this year. Um, <laughs> Enrollment uh, for the broadcasting school. Yeah, it's yeah. Open now. I don't oh, really? advise you to start pay your application in the term three holidays. Sorry, get your application Thanks, in, guys. In oh, before right. the term three holidays.